15. This it's, is it. This is it. And this is top rated, limited edition. They come in the beautiful boxes. You don't get you don't get the stands. No, with I'm just them. using those for display. But do we ever sell the stands? I always ask you this um, every we year. We bring in stands every once in a while. We'll do some for next year because they're some. really great. But meanwhile, coming in this gorgeous red satin box for storage. Yes. And as you know, every year I drag up. 25 of these red boxes from my basement. We we have been doing these eggs for 10 years. This is the 10th edition. There's only a couple hundred remaining. Yeah, they're almost and gone. They're gone. I didn't know we had any left. I was excited when I got and here. And top rated three payments of 1988 last day at this price. They're amazing. So tell us the tradition okay, of so what I'll, started. I'll, we started 10 years ago. Joan and I had taken a trip to St. Petersburg to Russia. Oh. We were the guests. Hold on to your hat. We were the guests of the Hermitage Museum, the State Museum, where all the Rembrandts and all the Rubens are and all the Russian art, and it was like a backstage thing. We were literally in the workrooms, in the storage rooms. Dr. Petrovsky, who was the director of the museum, invited us to come because he knew Joan loved and collected Russian art and furniture. So we're in the back rooms, and we're literally holding Fabergé objects in our hand. At one point, I was like, Joan, you grab the Fabergé, I'll knock out the guard, and off we go to the yeah, airport. I think there's probably it was more extraordinary. security. So, so the, the point I am making, though, is wow. that we know this world. Joan loved this world of, of Russian art, Fabergé inspiration. So each one of these has a different inspiration. Very quickly, I'll maybe walk you through what was the inspiration they for each one. They are stunning. They're unbelievable. And I should point out, by the way, they are dated, and I'll hopefully hold this up for the camera. If you can come in nice and tight, guys, the tight, that the we very do top. JR 2015. So this is this year's edition, and when we, what we have this morning is it. That's it. Molds are broken, patterns are gone, it's over. So very quickly, should we start with the blue or with sure, the silver? Sure, let's Whichever go with one? the blue. Okay, so the blue is the, is the um, it's one of the prettiest, it's the Pan-Slavic style. So a little Russian history, Fabergé had two workshops, one in Moscow, one in St. Petersburg. The Moscow clientele liked the more traditional Russian folk art. Mm -hmm. They liked the really cloisonné style, so that's what this egg is inspired by. So you're seeing beautiful, the look of cloisonné, hand-blown glass, Jackie. These are all made, these are painted by hand on actual <gasps> glass ornaments. We've got that's the blue. people who are buying more than one. Well, and, yeah, to decorate your tree, yes, sure. Yes, and let, sure. Me, let me just preface this as he gets ready to go to the green, as once these are gone, that's it. So amazing. Most of the ornaments, a lot of that you see out now these days, are made of plastic or made oh, yeah. of some hollow mold and just some, you know, spray and some paint colors, on And solid colors or a little bit of glitter. It. These are blown hand glass. And hand painted. Oh my now, gosh. Now, this is a Japanese sort of influence on fabric. Japanese the only, cherry blossoms? The cherry blossoms, the only a egg that Fabergé did in the Imperial eggs, there were 52 Imperial eggs, that had an Oriental influence. And it was definitely inspired. This, this egg and the original egg was carved out of a solid piece of nephrite. Ooh. So like that's like the expensive side yes. of the egg. So that's the, uh, the apple blossom egg, absolutely stunning. You can see the hand painting, just gorgeous, and little pink crystals. In the original egg, it was pink diamonds, it was 24 karat gold, oh, it was yes. nephrite. Amazing. And Look at the ratings at the bottom of the screen. Well, everybody these loves these ornaments. They're great. As much so, as I love that blue and I love the green, okay, I want this is the crazy one, right? I want to ride in a carriage that looks like this. This I looks know. like a princess's carriage. Well, this is the royalty. Cupid's, this is the Cupid's arrow egg, oh. and it's the most. I think the most Russian of all of them. It's a beautiful, you'll see in the red, it's almost like a, a mercury glass. If you'll look in there, you'll yes. see a wonderful pattern. Isn't I was stunning? I was looking to see if I, I was like, can I see through this or not? Oh, yeah. No, it's it's the crackle no. of the, like a the almost absolutely. mercury. Absolutely, and this original egg was made by, of course, Fabergé for the Tsar to give the Tsarina. Yes. Every Easter, every Christmas, he gave her a special one-of-a-kind egg that Fabergé made. This particular egg has kind of a sad story. This was one of the last, it was the last egg no. that Fabergé made. And, you know, the, the, the revolution happened and the czars were yes. taken out. So this was never given to the czarina. This is the lost egg. I've, so it was I've, never delivered. And that really quick, send it, we're out of time. Yes. That's the I, absolute crazy. It's the um, neo-Russian style for Fabergé. This is, again, sort of that classic Russian folk art inspiration, but done in a technique called champlevé, which means... Champlevé. Champlevé was like enamel imitating cloisonné. Joan and I were like, tell me, we wrote it down, we were like, I don't know that term. So you're looking at what looks like cloisonné on beautiful, what would be platinum or steel. My Fabergé God. loved Look, steel. Hold on. let me turn this I know, to and the then a little, isn't that lovely, all that little blue, beautiful. every color in the rainbow. So these are done for 15, and I, and I feel bad because we had the miniatures, and I think they're gone as well. 200 so. left, wow. and that is it. Okay. I'm going to, okay, well, I'm We hoping, warned you. <laughs> I hope my husband's up because we needed to get, get this collection, and for me, I, when 
I was a younger girl, I used to read all the books about the czars. The Russian and history course, and all and, of Rasputin and, and, and all of that. Oh, sure. But and remember Anastasia, the Anastasia, you Anastasia was the daughter that supposedly wasn't killed and long story of the four still, daughters. And, and some yeah. people they could never find her body. Exactly. exactly. And that's the famous movie with Ingrid Bergman. Oh, I love but, that. But uh, but do keep the boxes, guys.